Hi, I'm Espen Croft, and this is the Korg W8000 synth from around 1985. And this is a true analog digital hybrid because it has digital waveforms with analog filters and amplifiers. This synth should cost around $3,000 today based on how it sounds because it sounds spectacular. And today I'm going to show you. This is an amazing synth. The Korg W8000, pretty much neglected in its time, is one of the really true gems today. It's a true hybrid of digital waveforms and analog filters and amplifiers. It has 16 digitally stored waveforms. You can use one waveform for the oscillator 1, and you can use another waveform for the oscillator 2 and blend those together and detune the oscillator 2 to get really cool sounds. The waveforms go from simple saw waves to more bell-like waveforms, complex waveforms, and you have a sine wave at the end there. When you've mixed those two oscillators together, you can run them through the analog filter with resonance. You have an ADSR for both the filter and the amp. And you have an LFO section or envelope generator, as Korg always called it. And then we have the digital delay line, a groundbreaking thing at the time. And you can use that and its settings to create chorus or other effects. Finally, you have the settings for the aftertouch. Yes, it has aftertouch and it also has MIDI sync. You can sync up the arpeggiator through MIDI on this synth. Another cool feature on the W8000 is that it has a ghost parameter setting. And that means that the last parameter you have up when you save the patch, when you write the patch to memory, that's the parameter that's going to show up by default when you load that patch back from memory in the future. Very cool if you're going to adjust the filter on the sound and you don't have to bring up that parameter setting. The 8000 has an arpeggiator and it's syncable both to click and clock, MIDI clock. You can change the speed manual of course and you can alternate between three octaves, up or down. You can also put it in assignable mode where the uh, keys hit on the keyboard in that order will arpeggiate. And you also have a poly 1 and poly 2 poly modes and a unison mode, uh, two of those as well. I prefer the poly one on this. I think it's more powerful in poly mode than in unison mode, but there are exceptions. The uh, all time uh, Korg joystick pitch bender and modulation lever is on board here, where you can bend up and down, and you can also raise and lower the uh, filter and pitch. So, what about the patches then? Well, just listen to this. The patches you are about to hear are available for download, so just check the description to the video to find links. So without further delay, I'm gonna now demonstrate close to half of the patches in the pack, so stay on. <laughs> 